Hey there, my name is Katherine Aguilar and I'm the summer intern here at the Lake Michigan Field Station and today I'll be showing you around Building 1. Building 1 is mostly comprised of office spaces and here we have our conference room slash our kitchen. Um, we also have a fish lab down here and I'll show you around the fish lab a little later. If you go upstairs, there's a lot of office space where the NOAA fellows work. My office space is actually there. Um, we have a bathroom and then a locker room and I'll come and show you my office. So this is my office space. I have a nice view of the pier. Let's see if we can get it. And what I basically do here at the Lake Michigan Field Station is I use the GoPro camera to capture footage of what the researchers at the Lake Michigan Field Station do and how they collect data and I make digi digital narratives and videos out of them. And you can actually check out the digital narratives and videos that I make on the NOAA Glural YouTube page. Just type in NOAA Glural and then click down at playlists and then you'll see the NOAA Glural Lake Michigan Field Station playlist and all of my videos will be uploaded there. So check it out soon. Thanks for visiting Building One. Hi, I'm Jeff Elliott. I'm the Pelagic Food Web Specialist at the Lake Michigan Field Station, and this is my fish lab. Um, starting right here, we got our drying ovens. We dry a lot of fish in these. Um, we use these for calorimetry later, which you'll see. Um, we got a hood here for working with chemicals. We don't usually use a whole lot of bad ones down here, but just in case. This is one of my primary workspaces. This is where I measure, weigh fish, um, dissect their diets, and uh, spend a lot of time over here. This scale is used for bigger fish that we um, get once in a while. And then once we move down here, we've got our calorimetry station. What happens here is the fish that we take, and I do diets on, and I dry them. Um, Aaron, one of the other guys, he will essentially blow them up and determine how many calories are in a particular fish. So very important for looking at the prey species out in the lake and uh, figuring out how that translates into the bigger fish out there. Uh, we got another workstation over here, uh, primarily used for looking at mysis, which are a small shrimp that's found out in the lake, um, with looking at their broods and their sizes and um, age. And then we've got freezers here, usually pretty full. We got some samples in there. Um, where we keep the fish, I can't get to them right away, so sometimes it takes a little time. One of the eye wash station over here, another safety feature we have down in the lab in case I were to get anything in my in my eyes while I'm down here. And then this is the scope I primarily use to analyze diets, look at some of the small stuff with dealing with a lot of prey species. I look at fish that eat a lot of zooplankton and small bugs like coronamids. So I need a scope to positively ID what they are. Welcome to building one. <laughs>